what a day of cricket is it going to be? That's the first ball. What a ball was that? So Mark Adair with a new ball for Ireland. Batter on strike, broad. Runs into the offside, going to be a boundary. Very technically correct, isn't he, Justin Broad? Wasn't that poor delivery, only back of a length, really. Final group game against the Philippines to get a massive win. And there's a massive shot into the leg side. Oh, very nearly all the way for six. Just from a low back lift, a pickup shot into the leg side, right into the... Thuds into the pad, massive appeal and given. Josh Little strikes, has not taken many wickets in the last. Top edge, this should be a chance to Lorcan Tucker. And Josh Little has out thought broad. He's proved too good for him. Devin needs to start finding some boundaries. I'm going to try for a boundary, and I think he's given it away, has he? Mark Adair drops almost nothing at long on. And cheers from the Irish fans behind Mark Adair interrupt you because we nearly had our game interrupted as big a six as you'll see and finally something for germany we've got two balls in almost the exact same you can get somewhere around 70 80 in those 56 balls this is another big big one will go all the way a slog sweep through the deep 18 wickets last year he's got the big hitting out today though and this one it's not going to be six but it will be four but brian thought there might Another leg break and Blig now picks it, but has he got enough of it? He's hitting against the spin. Harry Tector just holds on inches. Ireland against Germany. Joining me, Andrew Leonard. And we'll see the fifth wicket. Trapped right in front. It's picked up into the leg side. He's going to get a boundary well in front to square. Nicely played by Klein. Curtis Kampfer's on as a subfielder. He's on the deep. He certainly knows slouch with the bat, and Klein's been given. This one looked a little leg sideish, but has Klein come up? Klein side and associate. Catching a little up. bit quick, and that's been taken. And who else would it be but Andy McBride? They'd be a great full member. Scoop shot picked up nicely, and he's got that away really well. Mubasher, I think that's his first boundary. Would you believe, even though? Will be on non strike. Picked up into the leg side and picked up very nicely. Going to be a boundary for four. Curtis Camfer, who's on as a subfielder. Oh, that's a big pick up into the leg side. It's going to go all the way for six. Some late joy here for Germany. Because that would bring about that three way tie at the top of the group. They're going to run through for the bye from the final delivery of the 20 overs. Paul Sterling of Ireland. And Ireland will get a free wide outside the off stump to start with. Andy Balburnie, the Irish captain's at the non oval across behind us. And Paul Sterling starts pleasingly through the offside. He's going to get a boundary. Loves hitting the ball through the offside and just a punch. So pleasing on. As Alberni picks up a slog sweep for six. I think the chase is going to be on. It'll be on quickly. They're going to go after all the bowlers. Bar ground tomorrow in the semi-final at two o'clock. That's a big strike. The biggest of the week, I believe. Balberni, he was rushed for pace, but he reacted brilliantly, and he's got that 20 minute. We are here to show you how good we are. Paul Sterling hits that inside out through extra cover. Really nice use of his wrists and... He's going to get a boundary for it as well. Just a little bit. That's a massive, massive strike for Paul Sterling. You cannot be bowling short to him. 16 overs that Ireland can chase this in. To be guaranteed of a semi-final as Sterling throws the kitchen sink. <laughs> and G end of the ground. Oh, nearly half a chance. Hit back towards... The bowler and a tumbling effort from him is followed up by a tumbling effort from it off and a tumbling. Just need to apply. 
More runs into the leg side. 4-6-4 four, four to start this fifth over. Ireland are chasing this down in a canter. And meanwhile, on the ground across to our left, there's the real drama playing out as Ireland continue along their merry way. Post He's such a powerful striker of the ball. And that's what he does. That's up in the air. Should be able to clear the long on fielder. Being let go by Middlesex. As he hits one down the ground. I think he's picked out Dieter Klein. He's going to take a simple catch. Balberni in the 14 overs. That's what they should be doing. That's a wicked. Believe it or not, it's Paul Sterling. Gareth Delaney's going to try and do it in a hurry. Down the track, right to the pitch of the ball. And that's where to hit an old man. Hits the wicket probably of... Uh Delaney goes down the ground into the sky. This should be held at long off. And Delaney's hold out. Another wicket falls to spin. And Ash, long time ago, yep. And in fact, many of their players played county cricket as Tector goes over the offside. Not out of the middle, but has got just enough to kiss the rope and get. Pulled into the deep and pulled powerfully by Harry Tector. Diving, tumbling. All inside the circle. And that's going to be that. Harry Tector will round it off with a boundary. Ireland are going to move top of this group with a convincing win. They have guaranteed themselves a place in the semi final with a pretty dominant. The batting guard for Ireland. Brilliant opening pair. Paul Sterling, Andrew Balburney, both getting 30s. Uh, losing a few wickets to spinners, though. That's. The bowling stats for Germany. Most bowlers were very expensive. The spinners very effective there. Muslim Yara Shraf, three overs, two for 20. That's the match summary for you. Mubashir was lone standout fighter for Germany with the bat, 45 of 40.